Discordianism. Discordianism is a paradigm based upon the book Principia Discordia, written by Greg Hill with Carrie Wendell Thornley in 1963, the two working under the pseudonyms Malaclips the Younger and Omar Khayyam Ravenhurst. The Principia Discordia, if read literally, encourages the worship of Eris, aka Discordia, the goddess of disorder, or archetypes and or ideals associated with hair. Depending on the version of Discordianism, Eris might be considered the goddess exclusively of disorder or the goddess of disorder and chaos. Both views are supported by the Principia Discordia. The Principia Discordia holds three core principles the anaristic, order, the aristic, disorder, and the notion that both are mere illusions. Due to these principles, a Discordian believes there is no distinction between disorder and chaos, since the only difference between the two is that one refers to order. This is likely a major reason for the inconsistency in the wording. An argument presented by the text is that it is only by rejecting these principles that you can truly perceive reality as it is, chaos. It is difficult to estimate the number of Discordians because they are not required to hold Discordianism as their only belief system, and because there is an encouragement to form schisms and cabals. The foundational document of Discordianism is the Principia Discordia, 4th edition, written by Malaclips the Younger. An alias of Greg Hill. The Principia Discordia often hints that Discordianism was founded as a dialectic antithesis to more popular religions based on order, although the rhetoric throughout the book describes chaos as a much more underlying impulse of the universe. This may have been done with the intention of merely balancing out the creative forces of order and disorder, but the focus is on the more disorderly aspects of the world, at times the forces of order are even vilified. According to the Principia Discordia, every single man, woman, and child on this earth is deemed a pope. Included in the Principia Discordia is an official pope card that may be reproduced and distributed freely to anyone and everyone. Papacy, however, is not granted through possession of this card, it merely informs people that they are a genuine and authorized pope of Discordia. There are also five classes of saints within Discordianism, who are those who best act as exemplars and are closer to perfection. Only the first of these classes, Saint Second Class, contains real human beings deceased and alive, with higher classes reserved for fictional beings who, by dint of being fictional, are better able to reach the Discordian view of perfection. A well-known example of a second-class saint is Emperor Norton, a citizen in 19th-century San Francisco, who despite suffering delusions was beloved by much of the city. He is honored as a saint within Discordianism for living his life according to truth as he saw it in a disregard for reality as others would perceive it. In Discordian mythology, Aneris is described as the sister of Eris aka Discordia. Whereas Eris slash Discordia is the goddess of disorder and being, Aneris slash Harmonia is the goddess of order and non-being. Dogma 3, History 32, Cosmogony and Principia Discordia, states. The sterile Aneris becomes jealous of Eris, who was born pregnant, and starts making existent things non-existent. This explains why life begins, and later ends in death. The names of Eris and Aneris, who are later given a brother, spirituality, are used to show some fundamental Discordian principles in psychometaphysics. The hand of Eris, shown at right, and other proposed symbols are used informally in certain circles, however, it is unlikely that Eris, the trans-Neptunian dwarf planet, will be assigned an official symbol by the Yao, since graphical symbols are rarely assigned to minor objects in modern times. A request to the Unicode Consortium to add the hand as a Unicode symbol to represent the planet, along with a symbol for 90,377 Sedna, was filed in 2016. The original snub is the Discordian name for the events preceding the judgment of Paris, although more focus is put on the actions of Eris. Zeus believes that Eris is a troublemaker, so he does not invite her to Peleus and Thetis's wedding. Having been snubbed, Eris creates a golden apple with the word Kalisti, to the prettiest one, inscribed in it. This, the apple of discord, is a notable symbol in Discordianism for its inclusion in the Holy Joe, and is traditionally described as being made of gold, although whether that gold was metallic or Acapulco is noted as uncertain. Some recent interpretations of the original snub place Eris as being not at all mischievous with her delivery of the apple but instead suggest that Eris was simply bringing the apple as a wedding present for Thetis. This interpretation would see Eris as innocent in her causing of chaos as a byproduct of the other wedding guests' reaction upon seeing her at the wedding. The Principia Discordia holds three core principles, the aneristic and aristic principle representing order and disorder, and the notion that both are mere illusions. 
The following excerpt summarizes these principles. Operation Mindfuck is an important practice in the Discordian religion. The concept was developed by Kerry Thornley and Robert Anton Wilson in 1968 and given its name by Wilson and Robert Shea in the Illuminatus Trilogy. Discordian works include a number of books, not all of which actually exist. Among those that have been published are Principia Discordia, first published in 1965, which includes portions of the Honest Book of Truth, and the Illuminatus Trilogy, which had its first volume published in 1975. The Principia Discordia is a Discordian religious text written by Greg Hill, Malaclips the Younger, with Carrie Wendell Thornley, Lord Omar Khayyam Ravenhurst. The phrase Principia Discordia, reminiscent of Newton's Principia Mathematica, is presumably intended to mean discordant principles, or principles of discordance. Soma Universalia was another work by Malaclips the Younger, purported to be a summary of the universe. It was excerpted in the first edition of Principia but never published. It was mentioned in an introduction to one of the Principia editions, and the work was quoted from in the first edition. Xenarchy was first self-published by Thornley, under the pen name Ho Chi Zen, as a series of one-page, or broadsheet, newsletters in the 1960s. A selection of the material was later re-edited and expanded by Thornley and republished in paperback by Illuminet Press in 1991. The book describes Thornley's concept of xenarchy a way of Zen applied to social life. A non-combative, non-participatory, no politics approach to anarchy intended to get the serious student thinking. One of the most influential of all Discordian works, the Illuminatus. Trilogy is a series of three novels written by Robert Shea and Robert Anton Wilson purportedly between 1969 and 1971. In a 1980 interview given to the science fiction magazine Starship, Wilson suggested the novel was an attempt to build a myth around Discordianism. Zen Without Zen Masters is a book by Camden Benares, The Count of Five, published in 1977, of koans. Stories and exercises of a Discordian nature. It includes tales of several early Discordians, including Hill, as Mao, and Thornley, as Omar and Ho Chi Zen. Enlightenment of a Seeker from this book is also present in Principia Discordia as a Zen story. The first edition was printed using Jim Garrison's Xerox printer in 1963. The second edition was published under the title Principia Discordia or How the West Was Lost in a limited edition of five copies in 1965. The Principia Discordia or How the West Was Lost was first published in a limited edition of five copies and released into the public domain in 1965. In 1978, a copy of a work from Kerry Thornley titled The Principia Discordia or How the West Was Lost was placed in the HSCA JFK collections as document 010857. Adam Goreitley, author of The Prankster and the Conspiracy about Carrie Thornley and the Early Discordians, said the copy in the JFK collection was not a copy of the first edition but a later and altered version containing some of the original material. In an interview with researcher Brenton Clutterbuck, Goreitley said he had been given Greg Hill's copy of the first edition. This appeared in its entirety in Historia Discordia, a book on Discordian history release at Dean Spring of 2014. The Black Iron Prison was an effort to create an updated, modern book that would function as Principia Discordia did when released. The collaborators stated that while the original Principia Discordia holds important messages and philosophies, we wondered if some of the humor and language might be dated and lost on a younger generation of Discordians. We wanted to crystallize some of our favorite themes from the Principia, those of radical free will and self emancipation. The goal was to encourage critical thinking and self awareness in the reader. Eccentric Coup Discordia, The Tales of Shamlik by Reverend Loveshade with Foreplay or Forward by S. John Ross was published in 2012 by Anafro Literary Press. The controversial book reportedly was inspired by an investigation by the FBI with portions of the book having been previously seized. Eccentric Coup Discordia includes blurbs, short reviews of the book, by R. Crumb, Sandra London, Alan Moore, Rev. Evan Stong, Robert Anton Wilson, who saw an early draft, and others. It was listed in January 2013 in both the print and online version of the New York Review of Books. The book was soon pulled from publication after allegations of plagiarism were made on Amazon.com and sent to the publisher. An editor denied the claims which did not specify what material was allegedly plagiarized. The publisher stated, in part, I took the book out of print because I was receiving harassing phone calls and emails with threat of harm via Discordian Jakes, 
and my phone was infected with a virus with a Discordian flavor. Historia Discordia was compiled by Adam Gorightly with foreword by Robert Anton Wilson. It is a compilation of early Discordian photos, tracks, art collages, and more including works by Discordianism founders Greg Hill, Malaclips the Younger, and Carrie Thornley, Omar Khayyam Ravenhurst. Among other things, it contains the long missing The Honest Book of Truth in the first edition of Principia Discordia. It features a blurb by famed comic book writer Alan Moore. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.